World Series of Day Trading. You've read and heard about it everywhere. Now it's time for you to go ahead and sign yourself up with one of the teams. Hurry up and sign up right now. Well, traders, uh, I am done trading today. Let me go through a short recap of my trading day today. Uh, here's how my account looks like. I have a small loser in Apple, nice winner in ALXN. Beyond was very nice. Uh, Selgin was a loser. SPLK, small winner. And ZGNX, a small loser. I'm going to finish my day up over two grand. And that's okay. That's a good start for my week. I'm happy with this. As you can see, my main trades um, are my biggest winners and my smaller winners or losers are with smaller size. So I managed to keep in green territory. So I do have the same number of winners and losers as you can see here. One, two, three winners and one, two, three losers. That was all really um, account management or how should I call it? Uh, again, coming to the point where you're starting out your trading day, having your best picks uh, with your, actually it was smaller size, but having your best picks moving the right way as you expected them, having a good, some good trades, and then just, you know, keeping the volume down, lowering your size, getting a bit more careful about your trades, reducing. Let me go through some of the trades here so you can see what I mean. Um, we started out today with uh, ALXN, so let me just go through this one first. Uh, the short entry in ALXN, as I posted in the room, was 111.50. That was right over here. So that was 111.50 right over here. So what we've seen is a stock that is gapping down. ALXN is down right now almost 3%. So it's not a huge gap down, but it's enough. It tried to move higher, it failed, looking for the reversal, taking the reversal, shorting it. It was a bit of, 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 of an issue here with uh, ALX, and that's why my quantity was not that high. It was uh, very much reduced, really, but it was a huge mover. So you can see that it moved from 111.50 all the way down to 109.50 almost. So that's several points and a very nice winner. So that was one of my biggest winners today. Uh, also had uh, Beyond started out with both of them. And Beyond was long over 154. So here's the 154 mark. And that's where I went long uh, Beyond. So Beyond was long over 154. And 154 is right over here. So the whole idea of Beyond was um, to look for a stock that is uh, relatively strong, Beyond is up 3%, and you know when Beyond is strong, there's a lot of people who are trying to chase it up. So we started with a gap up. I was really expecting it to go over the highs on the second one minute candle, it did not do that, it took it a little bit more time. And as it moved over the highs, you can see the volume gets very, very, very strong. And a lot of people are joining it as it moves to a new high, those people who love, love to join it. And it gave us plenty of uh, space moved over one, $1.30 or so over the over the trigger point so gave me a lot of space to take my partial and then came down so I'm out of beyond of course but uh, beyond was uh, certainly one of my best two winners with over $1,600 and um, let's take a look at the rest uh, very quickly uh, we had up along which failed up along was over 207 and it was a right and technical entry. There was nothing wrong about this trade. Uh, moving up, pulling back down, moving to a new high, just a breakout that failed. That's it. I mean, it happens every once in a while. Take a look at the daily. It's very hard to assume what's uh, really going to happen today in Apple, but it is coming up with the market. I thought for a second the market is going to help me. At least at that point, it was uh, still looking good, but um, Apple just did not work out. Then we had Selgine and Selgine failed too. That was along over 97.80. And again, a stock that started with a big gap up. Selgine is up 3%, moving up, coming down, trying to make another move to the highs. That was the entry point right over here. This one failed too. Um, SPLK was a short uh, winner. 
that was triggered under 115.50. So the entry point was right over here under 115.50. It was a lovely technical formation. As you can see, stock came, started with a gap up today, but came down, moved down. Uh, then a nice technical formation. I was expecting it to come under the lows once it comes under 115.50. It did come down. And so far, it's around uh, two point, And that's the only one I'm still riding. I still have... Uh, 50 shares in SPLK, hoping it's going to continue. Uh, ZGNX was another loser. However, a very beautiful technical formation. So that's a beautiful technical formation here under the laws. Although I was trying to take it before it came under the laws and I was underestimating the power of the buyers who took it up several times. One, two, three. I was expecting that once it comes down, fourth time is going to come down but it did not i guess the technical entry point should be under the lows really um probably shorting it under 50 i don't know but anyway it did not work out so i have a very small loser the main idea this the the, the main thing i want you to take out from this uh, trading day uh, my trading day if you if you want to learn something out of it is really my quantity management uh lowering the size as you gain i mean um Apple, if you may remember, that was a trade where I started out and reduced my size at a, at a small loss. And then the other half was reduced again as Apple was coming down. So started with a very small loser in Apple, reduced half size, and then reduced the second half at the point where I was originally thinking that I should move, be moving out. But then again, I was getting more and more cautious because I started out in green and the way I managed my day today, although I have three losers and three winners, so just theoretically, I should have been around zero. I'm not. I'm up over two grand. I'm happy with that number. And um, I'm going to stay in green territory. Just keep riding SPLK as long as it comes down. And I do have a stop loss there. Uh, so thank you for being with me today. Um, it was a nice first day of the week for me. I'll see you all tomorrow. Enjoy, um, enjoy your uh, top trading course this evening uh, with Scott and uh, just have fun. And I'll see you all tomorrow. So bye traders.